Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about the scientific guess method. And so let's go ahead and spell out what guess is. Now it's not, let me tell you what it's not. When I mean guess, I'm not talking about that you take a random guess at what the answer is on, on quizzes and tests, that's not it. What I'm, when I mean guess, I'm talking about the following. And so let me just give you the acronym here. So guess. And these are a series of steps that I would like for you to be able to use. And so the first step that you want to do when you're using the guess method is to identify the given. So you want to go ahead and ID that first. Okay? That's this, when I say the given, this is what I'm referring to here is this is going to be any data that's given to you. Any data, any numbers that are given. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get this identified early on. Typically what I do is I underline it in the problem. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and identify the unknown. Okay, the unknown in this process that we're going to use is going to be any variable that you're trying to find. So I'm going to put this in quotes, what you are trying to find. All right and make sure that you identify the actual units for this because the final answer has to have the correct number of units. Once you know the given, once you know the unknown, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and identify the correct equation. Okay? So you want to go ahead and identify the correct one for the problem that you've got. Depending on the variables that you've got in the particular problem that you're working on, it might tell you different types of variables and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and say, okay, well, I've got this variable, this other variable. And so you go look for an equation that has both of those variables uh, in the uh, for formula so that you can actually solve using some algebra for the unknown variable. Okay. Once you know the equation that you're going to use, the next thing that I want you to go ahead and do is I want you to go ahead and substitute. Okay. And when I mean substitute, what I mean here is you're going to substitute the uh, given information at, into the problem. So here you're going to place the given info into the equation. Very important that you do that. Okay? And that leaves the last step in the whole problem. Once you've got the, uh, the items that are given to you placed into the equation, um, you want to go ahead and solve the problem. Okay. Now keep in mind in the solving, you might need to go ahead and rearrange algebraically uh, the equation so that you get the right one, but it's not necessarily required because all you have to do is carry out the operations. It's, it's a helpful step if you want to go ahead and do this, but what you want to do here is go, go ahead and solve the problem. Right? And what you want to make sure you remember here always is remember your sig figs count. Don't forget about the significant figures in the problem. But these are the steps that I would like for you to use. There's five general ones. You identify the given, identify the unknown, find the correct equation that you want to use, substitute the values into the equation, and then solve for the unknown. Okay? So those are the steps in the scientific guess method. Go ahead and keep watching, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.